headed out this morning to go see the new Corvette and uh, give you guys some good pictures and video of it and a few things that I really like about it. Hopefully I get to see the Stingray model as well as the convertible model. Hopefully both of them are there, we'll see. Uh, there wasn't information available, but right now it's the closest place to my house. It's about an hour away, so I'm on the road. And uh, as soon as I get more information, I'll uh, let you guys hear about it. So I made it out here to Kennedy Space Center. I've never been here before. This is actually kind of a shame for a Florida resident. I've been here my whole life, never once been out here. Been through here, by here, to Titusville and other areas, Melbourne and all that stuff. Never been over here, so I'm gonna go check it out. I saw one Corvette already in the parking lot. Um, I'm sure they're here to see that as well. So we're gonna go see what's happening. Um, I got my uh, ticket here that I prepaid for last night online for parking and for um, admittance. So we're gonna see what's going on here at the Kennedy Space Center. So as I'm walking up, I see a bunch of Corvettes here. There's a big tie-in with Corvettes and astronauts. And uh, it looks like the local Corvette club is here being represented. I'm not sure which one, but we'll find out. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. How good does that look? That is amazing. I've never really been a big Corvette fan. I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, I barely fit in them, but they look good and they sound good. And they drive good. Look at these cars, man. This is crazy. I guess I'm not the only one excited about the new Corvette. Let's see what we get when we get inside. So now we're getting ready to walk through the gate and uh, just enjoy the next few minutes of pictures as they flow from one to the other. This was the first car that I saw when we first walked in. It was a convertible, but still in its regular state. And we'll see it later with the top down. Hey, so I just walked inside. Right inside the gate was a uh, silver convertible C8. It's it's nice, man. I'll, I'll just show you the pictures and I'll reserve my comments for later. But we're here under the tent and um, it doesn't start for like another 15 minutes and it's already packed out. I'll show you, uh, I'll give you like a little view of the whole thing. But you can see uh, the stages behind me there and all the seats are filled up, so. So it's pretty cool, man. Never been to anything quite like this before. And uh, I'll save my comments. Like I said, I'll, you, you'll hear it in a minute. You see the pictures first and you hear my comments. Here's a few pictures of the C8R. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. You're right. Here's a picture of me inside. I'm currently 6'1", about 265 pounds, and I fit very well, very comfortable. Here's a picture of me inside on the passenger side. 
and again, I fit comfortably, and this is also the convertible. This color blue, I think, is my favorite right now. It looks so good in person, unlike me, but that's another video. But they had this one with a blue interior as well, and the color just looks amazing. This is that silver or gray C8 I saw earlier in the day, but now the top is down and it has a wine color interior. It looks really sharp. Uh, the contrast here is uh, very noticeable, but very, very elegant and smooth. more of that Corvette row. Most of the cars that left, I came to see the, uh, the presentation. So nice. And as a little bonus, as a tiny, tiny little bonus, and these cars look good. Do a red stripe. And we have the. Uh, So many good looking cars here. Love the chrome wheels. Cool school. Corvette row. Z06. Of course, we go back to the main attraction. One of the engineers drove this from Michigan here. So nice. I'll volunteer to drive it back. Well, wow, I gotta say it was uh, really cool to be here and see this event. Um, I got to see four of the Corvettes. There's one over there in the background. I don't know if you can see a silver one over there. And then the event was over there. Right in front of that screen is, there's a white Corvette, um, a blue one, and then like the race one, the C8R in the middle. And I'll have pictures of that in this video as well. But I got to say, all the things that I've heard about the Corvette are true. Um, I fit in it very comfortably. The colors um, like jump off the sheet metal. Um, they're very vivid. Um, the engine, the interior, the trunk space, everything looks really, really good. Well designed. And as they mentioned in the uh, presentation before they unveiled the cars, it was designed as a convertible from the beginning. So you can see that even with the top up, it looks really, really good. And it looks just as good, if not better, with the top down. So if convertibles are your thing, you're going to really, really like it. Uh, it's, it's a pretty well-made car, well-designed car. We'll see how, how it does over time, but just really nice the way it's put together. The event was pretty cool. Um, they did a really good job with posters and presentation and sound and all that stuff. So if you get opportunity here in Florida to, um, to see it up close, I invite you to do so. Um, I know they're gonna be in Plant City at Stingray Chevrolet on the 16th of this month. And I think they're coming to Claremont on the 17th of this month. And I plan on going to at least one of those, we'll see. Uh, yeah, that's sweat running down my nose. It's uh, pretty hot out here. We were under the cover uh, during the presentation. And then of course, 
that big tent back there. And then when they brought us out, there was like 8 million people around the car. So it took about 20 minutes to a half an hour to get up close to it, but it was worth the wait and worth the drive over here. So like I said, if you get opportunity to go see it, feel free. I think you'll enjoy it. Take your kids. Uh, I saw a lot of older people here, a couple guys in wheelchairs that wanted to come see it. Um, I won't say it's an earth shattering event, but definitely worth checking out because of the, uh, just because of the, the car and its history and, and where it will potentially go in the future. So if you get a chance, come check it out. Uh, I'm not sure how long it'll be here at Kennedy Space Center, but it was definitely worth the, the drive to come out. So get a chance, go check it out. Thanks for watching.